player. Thank y'all for letting me speak tonight. Um, as y'all know, I heard our, let me introduce myself to those who don't know me. My name is Stephanie Williams. I'm the Executive Director of Economic Development for Brooks County. Uh, my background is in public administration, urban planning, environmental policy, and I've spent many years working not only here in Brooks County, but elsewhere in Houston, Texas. I've done a lot of graduate research in environmental work. And um, so as I speak tonight, um, I have a lot of things we have done for economic development, and that's just really what it comes down to also from our Irish standpoint. In September 2021, we had our first workshop meeting for the comprehensive plan. Uh, when we began, when I, when I joined the board in 2020, we started going to all, all of our municipalities because Pavo, we noticed that Pavo didn't talk to Morgan, Morgan didn't talk to Whitman, and so on and so on. And we started bringing everybody together. So these workshops were very important. Uh, in March of 2022, we were approached uh, with uh, this Morgan Solar LLC. In the very beginning, it was 550 acres. It was one phase, but they told us that they were interested in multiple projects in Brooks County. Um, they are not the only one that has come to us. There are thousands of acres that are being held up in solar lease options. <coughs> Make Sarah set the, the groundbreaking for that. And because of things I won't go into tonight, it really put a bullseye on Brooks County. We became the stuck part of a study with NASA and UGA on the negative impacts of solar farms on the unbuilt environment, specifically referring to species such as the gopher tortoise. I have a copy of that, and I'd be happy to give, you, give that to you tonight. Bruce County holds, the, as of 2022, we still maintained 20, number 20 out of over 100 counties in the state of Georgia. We remain 20th in farm gate value. We remain 800 to $200 and million, uh, $200 million per year to economic growth in the state of Georgia. That's just our farms. We're predominantly agrarian. We also, uh, when we look at our, fee, our our comprehensive plan, which I have a copy of, every one of those flags represents a page where solar goes exactly against our comprehensive plan. This was adopted not only by Brooks County Board Commissioners, but by every city. It goes against us in ways where it says we are supposed to protect our ag land and not put solar on it where we are supposed to protect our scenic corridors, where it is a potential fire hazard. I have copies of two fire reports from where fires broke out at Next Era this past year, did over $3 million in damage. And if you are aware, we have had some serious issues with our fire departments and our ability to cover uh, and protect our county with, for, with fire protection. From economic development, when I approach some, uh, a, a company, whether it's your money or their money. I always treat it like it's mine. So if you're wanting to invest fifty million dollars in a company or in, or in Brooks County, I'm gonna treat it like it's my money because I want to make sure your money's protected, right? I want to make sure you're happy and you stay here. You don't build a company and you leave. Well, this is the truth. This does not provide any jobs. Here's what it does do: it ties up our land, ties up our farm gate value, which. You can grow some minimal crops, but things like corn, pecans, it's gone. So there are going to be those that are impacted. Then you think about our gins, our meals, our ag companies, like our Tractor Supply, Ag Pro. How many people work there? How much do they contribute not only to the state, but to Brooks County? We have a housing shortage, and not only in the state of Georgia and Brooks County, but all across the southeast. That is something I'm working to address, like currently working to address. That requires infrastructure. <clears throat> now, solar, you don't require things like sewer and all that. So you could just throw that out there and say, hey, it's a done deal. There's a lot of things that's coming back to us. And I, I've had a lot of people approach me and said, well, I'm going to get a million dollars in tax revenue every year out of this. No, we're not. Because now I'll tell you one thing. I do not know it all, but I'm real good at assembling good teams. And we have a wonderful team that works down here. And one of them is our tax board and our tax assessor and our tax commissioner. And I did reach out to him and I said, I want to know some numbers. Just give us some rough estimates because I don't know this like you do. And so he told me this in a nutshell. And this, are our, this, is, this is just so we can get rough numbers so you understand. 
At the current rate, we have a rate. And you do understand our property taxes have gone up. We have the highest property taxes of anywhere in any county around us. When you're getting your property tax, when you get your property tax bill, 90% of it is your personal property, not your land. Not your, not, it's not that. Now, this particular project, they're not getting an abatement. They're not getting bonds. They did originally send us an application. But as I addressed with their bond attorney on the, the fact that this did not provide any economic benefit to Brooks County, he said, I'll get back with you, and they never did. And so according to the tax assessor, in order to get a million dollars a year in tax revenue, we would have to maintain $92.6 million every year. Well, your first year, you get 100%. But if we go by the figures I've been given, which 